it doesn't actually feel good to be on a seek mode. Imagine you're behind a glass and you, there is a beautiful sandwich behind it and you cannot eat it and you're like, ah, I want it, I want it, I want it. That's kind of what it's like watching porn. <laughs> you don't quite get to eat <laughs> the food <laughs> because the brain is constantly seeking dopamine pumps and every single click, every single video, every single position, every single girl you see, it's a new bump of dopamine until it becomes accustomed to it and it goes down again. When I stopped porn, part of the reason was out of guilt. I was feeling like, hey, I should not be looking at these naked girls because who knows, they're in Slovakia and they're poor and they're doing this, this crazy stuff and it's just not cool to be doing that and it's just not a holy person and I'm really, really holy. So I was doing it out of guilt, out of guilt, out of moral reasons because God doesn't like it, you know. But, and that wasn't really working for me. I don't, I'm, I'm too selfish for that. So what really worked for me is this, is I actually... I, I was in a different country. I was in uh, Iran, actually, for, for one month. And I was living with my grandmother. There was no internet, so there, I couldn't actually watch porn. So it was really easy for me not to go on the internet. But I experienced, uh, or have sex, but, 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 uh, but uh, like no sex, no porn. And at the end of the month, I actually felt such an incredible joy and power and centeredness and energy. And then I come back to Canada, and boom, there is porn again. And there I am, wasting my seeds and wasting my energy. And I experienced... A complete boom. I experience physically how less of a life I feel. I experience how much less alive I feel, how much less excited and motivated for life I am. I actually don't feel excited to learn or to do things or to create videos or to have energy or to feel confident. And that is the most incredible reason for me having to stop. It's for me to have this solid confidence in myself and knowing that, by that I mean just the feeling that everything is okay and I'm on the right path, especially my business in helping people, knowing that I have self-control. But when I, when I let go and I watch porn and I get involved in that whole thing, first of all, what happens is the experience is actually not fulfilling. It's an illusion that it is fulfilling. It's an illusion that it's fun. And here's why. When, when you watch porn or when I watch porn, what happens is initially you see a naked girl and boom, your brain says, oh, this feels good. And it produces dopamine. It gives you a little dopamine pump in your brain. Now, there has been studies done that is evident that there's two ways of pleasures in the brain. One is top dopamine and one is serotonin. When an animal, let's say, it goes on a hunt for food and it just smells, smells something tasty. It feels good in, your, in its brain. It, it sends a signal, good, keep going, keep searching. And it goes on a search mode, on a seek mode. It doesn't actually feel good to be on a seek mode. Imagine you're behind a glass and you, there is a beautiful sandwich behind it and you cannot eat it and you're like, ah, I want it, I want it, I want it. That's kind of what it's like watching porn. <laughs> You don't quite get to eat <laughs> the food <laughs> because the brain is constantly seeking dopamine pumps and every single click, every single video, every single position, every single girl you see, it's a new bump of dopamine until it becomes accustomed to it and it goes down again. So then you go in seeking mode and then there's another way of enjoying pleasure and that is through endorphins such as, uh, or, or I mean through the other, the other hormones in the brain like serotonin, which is more stable which you actually get to enjoy. So let's say you're actually eating your food, you're actually enjoying it, it's actually longer pleasure. Or let's say if you're in an actual human interaction of sex sexual with love, there's actually a lot of endorphins and like, um, I don't know, body, whatever, mixing together. So there's actually more of a sense of connection. There's more oxytocin in the brain. So it's not this dopamine seeking. So when you watch porn, your brain is dopamine seeking mode. But when you're with someone, it actually has all these other hormones like oxytocin and stuff like that. So what I'm trying to say is this, is although porn seems very exciting, it's actually not <laughs> because your brain is going on a seeking mode. And this actually has been proven by science of how, how porn uh, affects your brain. So that's the biggest reason for me wanting to stop and stopping is this, is that it actually brings down my juice of life. You know that same, same attraction, let's say you see a beautiful girl. Let's say you see a beautiful woman and you have this, oh, and you just get excited. There's almost like, 
It's almost like there's energy in you. It's almost like rocket fuel enough inside of you. So when you feel that, that's life energy. You see that? You see that's life energy. And that energy, it's not just towards woman. It's actually towards your entire life. I hope I can communicate this right. So just bear with me here. I'm trying to communicate something. I hope you get the message. And it's the passion you feel for that woman and that beautiful picture and that beautiful whatever you see, that passion can be applied in all other areas of your life, including your business, including your customers, your work, the minute you wake up, your workouts, your body, everything. That means the same juice you feel when you go towards an attractive woman can be applied towards everything in your life. So when you lose your juice of life, your sperm, your cum, whatever you want to call it, when you lose this, you're actually losing your juice of life, your excitement for entire life. Over what? Over a few seconds of orgasm, which doesn't even last that long. And the entire time prior to that, you're actually in the seeking mode, which actually is miserable. You're constantly trying to find the next uh, picture, the next position, next blah, 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 and all the guilt that comes with it. Maybe you're in a relationship, and you know you should not be doing because it's ruining your relationship. Maybe you're single, and you know you should not be masturbating because then you won't have energy to go and meet women. Maybe you are a married woman and you just, that's just ridiculous. So all these things going on in your head and all this guilt. And um, anyway, so that's kind of the pain of it. Now, I just wanted to share this. This is the thoughts that's going in my head. I'm on the journey of quitting. I'm not saying I'm perfect and I'm still working on it. And, um, and I feel really strong. Every single day I'm feeling stronger. I'm getting better. And some of the things that really helps me is A, meditating. And I can do a whole other video on the power of meditation, of how amazing it actually changes your brain, changes your DNA, it changes your focus, gives you more self-control. And it gives you a sense of, um, sense of okayness that you don't need to masturbate to feel good. So meditation has been huge for me. Second is actually doing research on brain and how porn affects the brain. And actually, once you know what's going on at a, at a mental level, you can actually say, hey, I don't want that. And also experiencing for myself and this is something you can try if you're really eager, is that just go for one month without porn. One month. Just do it for one month. And just see how much more energy you have, how much better your sleep is, how much more excited you are. But at the same time, if, you're, if you happen to do this, make sure you listen to this part because you don't want to just not watch porn and don't try to channel the energy up. Then you're going to have blue balls and you're going to, have very, you're going to feel very frustrated. Because if you just stop watching porn, and you, just, you may feel really frustrated. When you start watching porn, you also have to do other things. Like you have to meditate. You actually have to channel the energy up. You have to try to get in touch with your energy and kundalini and actually channel the energy up. You have to engage in some exercise routine and actually do some kind of an activity so you channel the energy. If you just stop porn and don't do anything else, it's gonna, it doesn't feel very good. Now, and one last tip is and if you are going to stop, you're going to have some wet dreams. That's okay. Don't feel like, hey, I just had... I just stopped watching porn, but these are coming out anyway. That's not true, actually. When you have wet dreams, it only, uh, it only releases some liquid from your prostate gland or something like that, but it's only liquid. It's not the actual sperm that's coming out. And even if it is coming out, it's not much at all. Let's say you have, uh, I don't know, 100 million sperms or billion sperms, whatever that is, 100 million sperms coming out. When you, when you have wet dream, it's only maybe like 5 or 10. So it's really not that much. So don't let that be a cause for you relapsing. That was one of the things that I learned, actually. So anyway, so this video, I hope uh, you found this useful. I talked about uh, the reason I stopped porn, and the number one reason was because I lost the juice of life. I could experience this. Second is how it's affecting my brain. It's training my mind to become addicted to dopamine. I talked about how when you're watching porn, you're going after click, 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 just like a drug addict that wants more shots in his body to be able to feel good, just in the same way dopamine affects your brain. Dopamine is actually not making you feel good, it puts you on a seeking mode. It's not like serotonin level feels good. You're actually in a seeking mode. If you put your experience when you're watching porn under microscope, you'll notice that it doesn't feel good. It's actually a seeking and neediness. It doesn't feel good. And uh, there was another point which I cannot remember. But anyway, so these are the things. And if you're interested to stopping, um, uh, give it a shot. What's the worst thing can happen? Worst thing can happen is that you're going to relapse. But don't let that stop you. And, um, and that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video useful. Go ahead and subscribe over here. Click this one. So this way, when I, get, uh, when I create more videos, you will be able to hear from me. Have a good day, and make sure you post your questions and comments because I love to read, read them. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.